Hey everyone, so today we're here back at the beaver area, specifically the culvert pipe, and we're going to be finishing up the total removal of this pipe. But one thing I do want to point out before we get started is that the water level in this area actually dropped a little bit. If you look at the shoreline, the bank, you can kind of see where you have moisture, kind of like right there for example. That, that part is a little darker, and then you have everything from last time that we left. And to make this a little easier, I brought myself this little LED light. I'm just going to take a peek, hope there's nobody in here. Wow. It's actually very clean compared to how it was. But if you look at that, uh, it doesn't really matter, but you can see all of the material and stuff. So we're going to remove all that. That's pretty cool right there. <laughs> look at that. Haha. <laughs> Bam. So oh, this is my setup today. I have this little shorter shovel and then also have this really cool So right now I'm just gonna kind of create an area for myself To place the camera So this right here kind of just gives you an idea of really how tall this thing is. 
I dug about a foot deep and it's just going and going and going and going. But I think what I'm doing right now is actually working out really good. Except the problem is this area is filling up with dirt really quick. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you're out in nature, one of the things you constantly do is consider and think about everything you're doing. <laughs> in this case, oh man, I'm probably about halfway done and it's been probably about almost an hour. I don't know, you guys can comment all the, how oh, you're lazy or you're tired. This is hard. guys inside so if you look at that you can see oh man how much more stuff there is there's a bunch of branches and stuff too this is crazy honestly I thought it was kind of difficult when you're doing it on land oh but this is like 10 times harder you can see all the moisture that's building up on the top of this thing because it's just so crazy. That's just crazy, dude. I'm building an entire different dam. Oh. And it feels like it's not ending, which is the hardest part. But I think I just need to keep going from top to bottom, just keep working my way like that. Because the water level on that, on that side is a little, a little bit high and the water level on this side is also high. So once I, oh, you see that? Speaking of water level, look at that water's flowing through now. Now you have, 
the water meeting on both ends. That's cool. Now this is where I kind of messed up because the closer you get to the actual end over there, the more branches there are. As you can kind of see, the material is kind of changing in shape. It's a lot more branches and stuff here. And now the biggest problem I have is that my handle is kind of short. Um, this actually is where the long handle rake would have been absolutely amazing. But just have to keep going the way we're at it. I think what I'm gonna do now after I rake this up, I'm going to do this little bottom portion. I'm really going to break that up and then it should be a lot easier to pull out those branches. Now this is about halfway, this is everything we've pulled out and as you can see this bank has expanded a lot and we're filling in this area too which is actually kind of a problem but that's all I can really do at the moment. I can't really put the camera down. Ooh, I'm gonna put the light up a little higher. There we go. Wow, it's really in there. Where did I put my? Oh, did I leave it?
side's really bad. Okay, now we're ready to getting over. I should break the legs. Haha. That's done. I got dirt in my eye. I need to move all this stuff out here. So we're almost done, but this is honestly like the hardest part. And this is where they have all the long branches mixed in with the dirt. And on the bottom you have a layer of rocks, so this is a little complicated. Just gonna have to keep pulling all this stuff out. Unfortunately, I did not bring my rake with me. with the shovel. Like I said, the problem we're having right now is just that those branches are just absolutely messing everything up. And we're so close, but honestly, I 
this part is just an absolute pain. I think even with the regular rake, this would suck. Hmm. And what I could try is just pulling all the branches from that side. And I can just see my old tracks, the beaver prints. And the water level on this side dropped too. What is that? That's a piece of foam. Beavers really like their foam. Oh, look at that. Huh. I just made a discovery. So, you see that? There's a huge difference in water level. It's just, look at where all the dirt is on this side. I can't see it. I've actually cleaned it up. <laughs> and I made a new dam. Wow, this is so tricky. Okay, well, I don't need this in here. I'll just take as many branches as I can. I don't know. Dude, this is a mess. I don't know, I think we're done. Because if the water level on that side, or if there's just a bunch of dirt in here, I don't know if you can see that. There's like dirt built up on the sides of the walls. So that means I'm literally just cleaning up all this kind of for no reason. I mean, there's a reason for it, but this is really hard. Okay, I guess I'll just take branches at least. All right, so coming in from this side and basically kind of what's happening so if you probably actually you know right there where all the rocks are and stuff where all the gravel is it's literally like that throughout the entire culvert pipe so this part that I dug down to here it's not like that anywhere else because when I was walking down there on that side, my back was literally scraping on top of the of the roof slouched. So I think this is just it. I mean, there's a lot more we can do, but I need a hoe and I need a rake, a long one. That's kind of my fault that I didn't bring one, but honestly, that's kind of it. That's really all we can do. So let's so just pop back in here, and grab our light. So yeah, if you see right there where the water level is, you can kind of make it out on the sides. There's a bunch of gravel. And so, I mean, there is like three, four inches of material that I could remove. But like I said, because the branches are mixed up in there and there's just a lot of, you know, gravel and stuff. A rake isn't gonna work and a shovel isn't working either. I need either a hoe or uh, longer rake so that's just gonna be kind of the end of this video now kind of just a little chat right now right now a second um 
the reason I came out here today was because tomorrow the rains are supposed to start. As you can see, it's cloudy. And it's finally supposed to start raining. All those falls rains are supposed to come. And I thought that I can clear out the entire thing to that level and then clear out all this, basically this dam. But it's just not working out today. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is, unfortunately. And I guess next time we come back, we're gonna see you know what the beavers do if anything they'll probably re start reinforcing this one they'll probably just start putting branches and stuff here and probably leaving that one to be but i'm not sure this is just weird but yeah that's the end of the video if you guys liked it please drop a like please consider subscribing if you didn't like the video i already know what kind of comments you're going to send so <laughs> please post them and yeah thank you for watching have a good night god bless bye